Your merciful love, O oh God, we have received in the midst of your temple. Your praise, O oh God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. Your right hand is filled with saving justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. This morning's class is being offered to the repose of the soul of Vince Fuller. Fuller. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the amazement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those who have rescued slavery to sin, to bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing the balls and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheek. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I nil, will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God, not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume me, consume you. The word of the Lord. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O oh, shepherd of Israel, hearken, from your throne upon the cherubim shine forth, rise in your power. Let your fear face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O oh Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see, take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man whom you yourself made strong. In your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you are, you have received. Without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper from your belts, nor sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The laborer deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, Go outside that house or town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Sodom and Gomorrah is not a pretty story. It was rife with um, sin and it was, the Lord said, hail and um, brimstone, fire and brimstone, and poof, they were destroyed. So Jesus is saying, uh, this, is, uh, this is what happens if people don't hear the word. It, it's, it's not a take it or leave it option, it seems. That it's not like, oh well, if it doesn't work, maybe we can catch them on the trip back. You know, we'll try and make it work for them. There is something stark about the kingdom of God and how we live it. And 
whether or not we're hedging our bets or letting it off to the side, Jesus is talking about a deep conversion or a reconciliation. The word reconciliation comes from the word eyelash. An eyelash that you go eye to eye with God, that you get to look into his eyes, and in that glance, feel the burning and powerful love of the Father in Hosea that we hear about, who calls back his children always. And so it is that when we're tempted to, to maybe hedge our, our bets here, or, or uh, that we need to say, no, 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 this is a sauce, this is not a take it or leave it option. And when we have people in our lives, we need to pray for them in, in earnest, who are away from the church, that the Lord, through his divine initiative, will call them back as he does Ephraim and Hosea. So we remember, this, this is real kingdom of God and the power that he invokes within us within us and the conversion he asks is not a take it or leave it it's an all in proposition today let us pray we pray for our holy father and for all the bishops that they will preach the gospel of the kingdom of God that will um, call people to to reconciliation to be eye to eye with God we pray we pray for our nation, for uh, healing at every single level, to bring about collaboration for the common good. We pray. We pray for those who are suffering and sick, especially the, those with the coronavirus and those who care for them. We pray for ourselves, for ourselves, that we will uh, look into the most important mirror, the, the mirror of God's eyes, and, and allow ourselves to to be wholly turned to him, we pray. For the intention to rest in the silence of our hearts. We pray. And for our beloved dead, especially for Vincent Fuller, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer and answer all of these needs because we bring them to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spirit. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and that day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right to have turned to me and our salvation always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself.
In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. So just a reminder, please wear your mask above your nose during the mask. I had somebody write me and say that they came in and saw that people weren't wearing their masks and turned around. I don't want to keep people from the Eucharist. No opinion on whether this works or not, but let's do it as a sacrifice.
body of Christ. 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 Taste and see that the Lord is good. Bless the man who seeks refuge in him. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gift, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace.